Let's start off by creating a component to store the health variables they're going to need. So if we go to blueprint, blueprint class and go to actor component, which is actually right here, BP health component. And we're just gonna have some basic functions right now. You would obviously add, you would have um, many functions in there, but we're just gonna have one called take health, which all it's gonna do is we're gonna have a variable variable called health, and we're gonna have a variable called max health. Uh, just compile save, and max health is gonna be set to a hundred. On begin play, health is going to be set to max health. Okay, take health, right. We're going to take away health from health. We're going to take away how much we want to take away. So, let's call this amount. And really, you want to clamp this value because you want it to be between... Uh, zero and the maximum value so you just put into that that calculation gets slotted into the clamp here that will keep it between zero and 100 so now we're gonna set the health and when the health is set we're gonna do a check is equal to zero if is equal to zero then you're dead. Okay. So the prompt, the stuff that we want to do is we want to deal damage, we want to take health on damage and on hit, or I suppose on death, do something. So we're going to do health, um, health changed or died. We're going to add some dispatches here that you can use in your classes that require things to happen on hit and dam on when you die in your actor. So we're gonna call hit here. So if you drag that out, uh, we're gonna call it when you die and call it on hit. Right, so you can now bind to these in the class that uses the component. So if I go to the character, third person character here, and we get the health component, and we can create some bindings here, which you might want to do on begin play, because that's going to be called on client and server. So after this has happened, doesn't really matter too much. We're gonna bind to those dispatches. So if you just type dispatch or dis, it's gonna come up with both of them and then we can just bind to them. Make sure it's actually, it actually says bind. All right, and then gonna create some functions, died and hit. So we're doing this because we want to do some logic that replicates from server, now on server and client here. So if we type create event, this is the died dispatcher. So we're going to call died and here we're going to do a create event hit. So both of these functions are going to be called on server and client. I believe we might want to do a sequence node in this case so that my code has always ran because I don't know if this code could fail then my code might not be set up and we don't really want that to happen so this code is definitely set up so we want to be able to deal damage so here um, before I was doing our left mouse button and I was opening a door we're gonna change that but it's more or less the same logic so if I drag out of here and do break, so to start with, I'm just doing a on a left mouse button input from the follow camera, getting the world, I'm getting the forward vector, 
I'm times in the fourth vector by 5,000. I'm adding this. This is the start. I'm adding that to this vector that's projecting from the camera together to make the end. I'm breaking out. And if I hit something, then I want to check. Does this actor have a component? This is how you do it. So it'd be like, you know, this is how you'd shoot. And you'd usually do this from like a gun actor. If this is valid, so this, guy, this, character, this actor I've hit has a health component, I'm going to deal, I'm going to apply. If I can type, apply. Huh. No, I'm just gonna, so I was dragging out from the component, I just wanna apply damage. You could also do has compo um, component, Get component. Um, I, I thought you could do has component. Apparently, you cannot. Mm, I think that might be a C plus plus thing. So if you do get component by class, or I think it is does implement interface. Ah, uh, that's not the one. Does implement? No. Okay, I don't think it's in blueprints. But this will check. So if this is true, then they have the component, and you can apply the damage, which is however much damage you want to apply, and you can do these other variables, which is not really important right now. All that's important is this is happening and it's a server only call. So this wouldn't actually run right now because if this was called on the client, it actually would not call this. So for that to work, we need to add a S apply damage call, which is gonna be, if you drop down this little box, there's a replicates box. This is gonna communicate to the server, say, hey server, I want to damage this actor that I've passed in, the damaged actor. So I'm going to do s apply damage. Okay, and then a bit, bit, it's a bit confusing, but because I'm damaging a player character, uh, it's in the same blueprint. So on event, so if you type on damage, uh, any damage. Right, so this is going to be called any time you damage a player. So when I get damaged, I'm going to get my health component. Get health. Oh. Take, take health. Yeah. And it's going to be this amount, like so. And every time I'm hit, I'm going to print. I'm going to do this so you can under you can see who's being damaged and how by how much. Hmm. Um. I'm going to do get health for this to work health has got to be replicated so that the client can detect and print the right amount of health so if I do this get health and gonna add another pin the player's health, uh, the player that's, um, this player here, let's print it out. All right, we might get some confusing um, results here. Let's see what we get. So, to test this, I've got to click play and I get another client here. So now if I hit this client, which is a bit tricky, Okay, it's not actually hitting the player, it's going right through them. And that's a collision error right there. Uh, problem with the collision. So the line trace is happening on visibility. I assume this is ignoring visibility. So if we change it to camera, that's going to start working. So I changed the 
the trace channel to camera on the line trace so it can hit the players. So now it's hitting the players. I've not seen a print string yet. Okay, not seeing any print strings, so that seems like it's not working right. Let's have a look. So I like to go through the logic, we're applying the damage. So both these characters have health components, so let's walk through the code and see what's happening. So if we add some breakpoints here, we can see if the health being to um being called correctly. Everything's been set up right. So let's see if this is working. So if I call here and I hit, so I've, um, it's definitely applying the damage. Um, that's being called and it's saying any damage is detected some damage and it's going to apply damage and it's 25. That's the right amount. Okay. We didn't set max health. Apparently, that doesn't seem right because we set on begin play here. Oh no, we're setting max health here. So if anyone spotted that, well done. So we're setting the health variable here to max health, not the other way around. So we're, this variable is a hundred, and we're setting health to the default value here. So let's play again, and we actually want to get rid of these debug points because. Breakpoints because I'm gonna assume that's all working now. So get rid of all these if you were following along. So now it should just print. Okay, character one hit, but it was I was hoping to see. I was hoping to see it working on the client too. Doesn't seem to be calling on the client. Seems to just be calling on the server right here. So have a look, see why that's happening. <clears throat> so I'm gonna add a print string to the begin play and see if this is being called by client and server. Okay, it says client the client to the client, client, the setup, setup then. If I look at the output log, uh, that's strange, it should be calling. Let me see this again. If I clear the log and click play, setup is called on the server. Um, yeah, it seems to be called server, server for both characters and then client, client for both characters. So that's what I'd expect. So why then is that only being called on the server? Interesting. So this is definitely being called. Hit is being called. Huh. So have we solved on hit do something. So the problem with this is if you wanted something to happen for both players, which is typical, right now it only happen on the server. So if you wanted this to happen, if you want something to happen for everyone, so like a blood effect, this might be a bit costly to do a multi cast here. So you just do this. So I want so some. Uh, multicast event. Shoot call here, and you could add like spawn particles, da 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 da, a location, that sort of thing. But the main you'd you would call that from hit and die because this is only happening on the server. So right now, actually, you don't need to replicate this variable variable because strictly for the server. If you wanted the client to be able to access the health variable, then it would need to be replicated because it needs to, this property needs to be accessed from the client. 